Um, and now is when you're talking about different practices, are you working, is it considered full time and the salaries that you were discussing, we had a question in there as well, is that considered like your 40 hours a week full time? Is that for me? Yeah, so when you were talking about the salaries and kind of what you make when you come back, um, if you're working at different practices, are you working a traditional 40 hours a week roughly? And is that what your salary is based on? Uh, roughly, yes. Um, I started working, I think it was five days a week, some Saturdays. Um, now it's four days a week, some Saturdays. So um, it is roughly 35 to 40 hours. Yeah. Every day is different. Some days are night, some, some days are morning. So it depends on the shifts, but every clinic is different. So you kind of have to accommodate for their hours. Um, some some are open till seven, eight, some are open till five. So yeah, right. but roughly around that, yeah, four or five mm -hmm. days. Maybe I just add on to that, you know, when, when you're your first graduate and you have, uh, you know, a lot of debt, uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, either go go to a small town or just work your butt off. You know, I know a classmate that works seven days a week nonstop, and uh, he he just stopped taking care of himself. Uh, that's also another recipe for burnout. You know, you have you know, at least 20, 20, 30, 40 years of your career. Uh, you don't have to feel like you got to work six days a week. Uh, I made that I made that mistake myself as well. Um, you'll make a very decent income. Uh, just focus on helping other, serving other people. And as you develop more skills and get better at what you do, you know, and also communicating with the with the with your patients, um, and serving them with more of your skills, uh, then the money will just come. So I think um, I think at the end the money is uh, should be the least of your concern uh, because you'll you'll be very comfortable uh, making an income as a dentist. Yeah, I agree with that. A lot of people come up very excited and they want to make more and more and more. Um, my cousins are going through it right now. They just started working. They came back from one was in um in New Zealand, Otago, Otago University. He just yeah. came, he just started working and he's he's like, Yeah, I want to work seven days. This is amazing. I'm making money, blah, blah, blah. But then I keep talking to him. I'm like, yeah, money will come, but you need to build the right skills. You need to build the right um, patient base and stuff like that, like Dr. Boos was saying. But money will come. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of, you, you, you're going to get burnt out in the beginning if you do yeah. do that. That kind of goes, there's another question that just popped in here. How common was it for your peers to move to rural cities, pay off their loans faster with a much higher salary? Um, and kind of work your butt off, essentially. Would you recommend that as approach as a new grad? By the sounds of it, I'm going to say no, but... Um... Coco, you want to go first? or You can go first. <laughs> um, I think a lot. Of, some of my classmates have uh, gone on the path of going to a small town, but uh, for, for me, I feel like um, I might be biased, but uh, eventually you probably want to start a practice, right? So I would, I would work in work you want to, where you want to live because um, mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of the uh, regrets from my classmates who have worked a small town that they really didn't enjoy being at, they just worked a lot and then almost sacrificed their lifestyle, and they come back now after nine years and re they really have nothing, you know it's it's hard to come back from uh, a small town making you know double to a big city, maybe cutting half and and also not having a, a network of uh, clientele and support. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a feeling that it's almost like a uh, feeling of despair, you know, because uh, it's, it's kind of like moving in from a mansion down to like a one bedroom, you know, uh, in terms of money, but then coming and then, but coming back to that one bedroom, but not having a lot of support. You know, not not having connections and kind of struggling to find your your network of, of um, colleagues to support you. So uh, I'm biased, but yeah, you'll make a lot of money going to some small towns, but you are sacrificing lifestyle unless you love fishing, camping, you know, uh, hunting or whatever. But you have to really focus on the lifestyle first.